video, we bring a list of iconic actors who passed away today, March 15, 2024. Legends who somehow contributed to their respective works and today unfortunately ended up passing away. Condolences to the family and fans, rest in peace. But first, we ask that you show your love and affection by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel to follow us. Friday of Morning It turns out that a famous veteran actor died at the age of 85. He is the actor and stuntman Grant Page. According to information from the Daily Mail, the Australian actor and stuntman was driving alone near his home when he crashed into a tree. His son, Leroy Page, told the Daily Mail Australia that, despite his advanced age, he died very excited and very motivated. He was very happy, lamented Leroy. Brant Page was a pioneer of the golden age of Australian cinema in the 1970s and is recognized as a film legend. His credits include more than 100 films, standing out in productions such as Mad Max, 1979, Gods of Egypt, 2016, and Bold Traffickers, 1975. Furthermore, he played the killer in Enigma na Estrada, a film cited by Quentin Tarantino as one of his favorites. In addition to his contribution to the Mad Max franchise, Page also worked on more recent films such as Once Upon a Genius (2022) and the long-awaited sequel Furiosa, also from the dystopian film franchise, which is scheduled for release still this year. His death is really sorry. The actor was very lovable and will always be remembered for his iconic performances. Rest in peace. Unfortunately, Irish world-class talent singer and songwriter Angela McCluskey dies at the age of 64, in the early hours of this Friday, March 15. The singer who was part of the Wild Colonials and is widely known for her vocals on the 2001 telepop music track Breathe, was remembered by stars Rain Phoenix and singer Shirley Manson on several social media platforms. His official Instagram profile regrets his death. The spark is gone, but the love lives on. We are devastated to say that our beloved Angela McCluskey has left us to be with her fellow angels. No one ever lived life more fully, loved more generously, sang more, well, just, more. Angela sang just as she breathed. Her life was a song, and she was music. She will be missed more than any of us can say, but our love for her and our love for her beloved Paul, her brothers Gerard, Alan and Muriel, and all her family and friends will live on forever. Dear, said the communication. We send our sincere condolences to friends, fans, and family. Rest in peace. Unfortunately, a sad death this Friday. It turns out that the famous 86-year-old actor, John Savadin, passed away this afternoon. He became well-known on television for playing Fred Elliott in Coronation Street. He began his career as a police officer in Manchester and during his six years of service was stabbed in the arm while trying to break up a gang fight. The actor was famous for his booming voice while playing the local butcher in the ITV soap. Elliot's death also caused Roberts, his former romantic interest, to confess that he still loved him after she had turned down his marriage proposal years earlier. The butcher's other previous wives were Maureen Holdsworth, Sherry Hewson, and waitress Eve Sykes, Melanie Kilburn. Savadin also starred opposite Sir Anthony Hopkins in the 1993 Oscar-nominated film The Remains of the Day. 
he was in the first production of the musical Phantom of the Opera, in October 1986 in the West End, as opera house owner Monsieur Furman. After leaving his soap opera, Savadin appeared on stage in panto productions of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and Harold Brickhouse's Hobson's Choice. Really regrettable. We send our sincere condolences to friends, fans, and family. Rest in peace. Another sad death confirmed today, Friday, February 23, 2024. Unfortunately, the 86-year-old former Chief Minister of Maharashtra, Manohar Joshi, died away. He was admitted to Hinduja Hospital on February 21 after suffering a heart attack and was undergoing treatment in the intensive care unit. Manohar Joshi served as Chief Minister of Maharashtra from 1995 to 1999 under the Shiv Sena BJP coalition. He was the Speaker of the Lok Sabha from 2002 to 2004. The senior Shiv Sena leader began his career as a teacher and entered politics in 1967. The veteran leader has been away from active politics for some time. Joshi was one of Bala Sahib Thackeray's trusted confidants. His political journey began when he got a seat as a councillor in the Maharashtra Legislative Council under the Shiv Sena banner. Furthermore, Joshi served as mayor of Mumbai during the period 1976 to 1977. Really very sad. He was very loved and will definitely be missed so much. We send our sincere conditions to friends, fans, and family. May he rest in peace. Goodbye, warrior. Unfortunately, a sad death on this Friday afternoon, February 16th. Veteran actress, 78 years old, Sasha Montenegro, passed away. According to information provided by her family, she suffered from lung cancer and suffered a stroke accident worsening the disease. The actress, who gained great fame in Mexican cinema during the 70s and 80s, was born in Bari in 1946. From Italy they went to Argentina, but, in 1969, Montenegro traveled to Mexico, by chance, as her final destination was New York, my big dream was to visit Mexico, she said on the in company program, in 2013. And when I arrived in Mexico, I met an Argentine couple who lived there, and they took me to eat at a studio Churubusco, one of the oldest film studios in Latin America, to which they were invited and there I met Blanca Estela Limon, casting director Mexican. The actress ended her career in 2006, after having acted in more than 50 films, soap operas and cabarets, culminating a unique career in Mexican culture. Like many cinema divas of the last century, Sasha Montenegro has spent the last few years away from the spotlight at her home in Cuernavaca, capital of the Mexican state of Morelos. It was not revealed that he had lung cancer. His death is sorry. We send sincere condolences to friends and especially family, at this sorry moment. Rest in peace. Another sad death. This time in the comedy scene. This Friday morning, the 16th, the Brazilian actor and comedian, Paulo Diogenes, aged 62, passed away. Despite his passing, the cause of death was not reported. In a note of condolence, the president of the Municipal Council of Fortaleza, Gardel Rollam, declared three days of mourning for the comedian's death. Paulo Diogenes dedicated his work in an exemplary manner to the house for one term, always contributing to the development of our capital. In this moment of pain, 
I want to sympathize with all your family and friends. I pray to God to receive him in peace and bring comfort to his family. Fortaleza's sport club also posted a tribute to Paolo and informed that the team will observe a minute of silence. Before the starting whistle, we will have a minute of silence in honor of Sarah comedian Paolo Diogenes, who played the character Raymond Dinha. We sympathize with this great loss for the humor of Sarah. We wish condolences, comfort and strength to the entire family, he said in a statement. Diogenes became known for the character Raymond Dinha, a caricature of a woman with heavy makeup and extravagant clothes, and performed in shows plays and television programs, being considered one of the references of Sarah humor. Really, very sad news. He will forever be remembered for his iconic performances. Rest in peace warrior. The television scene is in mourning once again. The actress, Johanna von Coxian, passed away this Friday morning, aged 90 in Berlin. The information of his death was confirmed by his former agent at the German press agency. According to information, she passed away peacefully in her sleep, surrounded by her family. Johanna von Coxian began her career in theater performing on stage under, among others, Gustav Grungens. Her film career began in 1957 with the comedy Victor and Victoria. She made her breakthrough in Kurt Hoffman's We Wunderkinder alongside hans Georg Felmy. With Hoffman she also made the film adaptation of Dernmatt's The Wedding of Mr. Mississippi E.M., 1961. She performed brilliantly in plays by Kleist, Shakespeare and Lessing. But she also starred in supposedly superficial TV series like Praxis Bulo Bogan and In All Our Freund. She also made several appearances in series such as The Dream Ship, The Country Doctor and Tatort. Johanna von Coxian has written books and presented television programs such as, Do You Recognize the Melody? The 77-year-old achieved success in 2010 at Berlin's Kutum Theater, where the trained soprano starred in the comedy Glorious, played the worst opera singer in the world. The mother of one was married for almost 40 years to music producer Wolfgang Kabitsky, who passed away in 2004. Really very sad. May the veteran actress rest in peace. Goodbye warrior. You have to face the pain of loss head-on. As much as it hurts, massacre. We have to be strong, but we can also allow ourselves to suffer. Strength is precisely recognizing the size of the pain, living it, trying to survive it, and one day transforming that pain into longing, wisdom, maturity. Rest in peace.